Hello again everyone, it's Usual I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. Uh, so, you guys might have noticed that uh, last episode, or rather last week, there was not an episode. If you guys don't follow my Twitter or uh, aren't on my Discord, then you guys would not have heard, but my internet was completely gone. From uh, Saturday the... Uh, I don't even know. Let, let me let me pull up my uh, calendar here. Uh, it was gone from Saturday the third until Tuesday the sixth. So unfortunately, I was not able to record or upload any videos because no internet. So that happened. Um, yeah. So that's why there wasn't an episode last week. Uh, off camera, I have done quite a bit of work, though. Like, as you guys can see, we have another uh, level to our uh, NPC apartment, and we have quite a few people moved in already. So, yeah, let's check these guys out. Uh, let's see, so this is Richter the Confused Zombie, I think he said it? Uh, it I, I think it popped up down here? I don't know, anyway. I can't remember much about my past life. Chemicals and the like were my passion, I think. I only get fragments and pieces of the truth. It's saddening at times. Shot. Oh. Really testing. Use unique abilities while transformed. Interesting. Uh, points you to your world's blood chamber? Okay. Uh, let's see, a dark liquid lingers within the heart. Increases your max number of centuries by one. Decreases your life regeneration by 20%. Interesting. Rusty sword. Poisons enemies when you strike them. Bent to zombie arm. Uh, the confused zombie's favorite arm. His left one. <laughs> uh, leech bolt. Steals one life. Sends out a bolt of life-stealing blood. Shoots out a medium... Oh, wait. Heals ally life by two medium range healing pulse. Uh, uses six uh, mana. Creates a wave of grasping bones. I think we actually got one of them ready. And then vicious mockery. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, let's see. Propels an insulting burst, which deals increased damage while near max inspiration. Playing empowers players with bonus. Flat damage one. Okay, that means pretty much nothing to me, but great. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next one. I don't remember who this guy was. Oh, wait, actually, wait. Enemy repellent. Oh, no, that, that sounds like it's just like a uh, thing I can buy that'll keep enemies away. I don't care about that. Where's that? S Scrim cat? Scream cat? What? Whatever. Pandora's box. Summons something at random. Much friendlier options during the day. Interesting. Only 10 silver. I think we might want to try that. Uh, your socks? Okay. The wearer can run pretty fast. Worm snack. Summons giant worm in pre-hard mode. Summons digger in hard mode. Underground. Pink slime crown summons Pinky. Oh, interesting. Okay. Attractive ore summons undead miner. Only usable at night or underground. Uh, let's see. Summons nymph. Only usable at night or underground. Undead miner. I think we have seen some of them. Oh, anyway. Um. So that's that guy. Uh, what are you? Magic rings are not as powerful as legendary emblems, but still can give you some advantage against powerful creatures. Arena shop. Okay, so Amethyst and Topaz, don't know what that's about. <laughs> I don't know what you are. You never know uh, where you might get really rare or valuable things, so explore every possible corner with patience. Okay. A balloon pufferfish. That's actually not half bad. Uh, combat. Obsidian rose. That's not bad. And tokens. Nothing. Alright, good to know. 
Uh, off camera, I did do some uh, exploring as well. Uh, so I continued down in the ice area here, and I don't remember why I came over here. I think I remember standing like right over here and seeing a glowing light from over here. I think it was a um, gilded lichen or something like that. One of those um, uh, enemies that gives you the uh, tokens. Uh, so I dug my way into here, and then I found this down here. There wasn't really anything in it though, so it wasn't too impressive. Uh, but I kept coming over here. Oh, that was okay. And I found another one of these um, uh, marble areas. Uh, no, okay. And then I continued and found another webbed area. And found just a pretty big cavern, which does have a life crystal. Um, I might grab that at some point. Uh, it's just, I like to grab these things on camera, because, you know, I want you guys to know that I'm not cheating, so yeah. Uh, and then I also continued in our mine here. Oh, look at that, there's another one there. Okay. Um, let's see, where did I go? Well, first of all, I realized that we've never actually checked out this thing yet. Um, yeah, there's a chest here that we've never gotten yet, because I'm an idiot. Um, right, because there was thorium there. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so there are two paths here. So there's another life crystal here. Um, and then there's a web covered chest here. And I was able to come down. And I think these. They don't link up. Okay, so there's a life crystal here. And. Nothing else, it seems, over here, really. So that's dead. Um. Oh, right, and then I did find the minecart track, finally. Uh, obviously, I didn't take it, so I have no idea where it goes. Um, and then over here... Uh, yeah, over here I found another uh, marble area with another life crystal. I found some kind of weird shack. And... I think a new biome? So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. So, I'm just going to quickly... Uh, come over here, grab this life crystal, and then come all the way back over here, check out this little hut here, and then get this life crystal. Actually, I'll get this life crystal first, then check out this hut. Get this one. Uh, come check out this uh, chest up here, and then come down here. We'll check out, uh, we'll get this life crystal, check this thing out, and maybe check out a little bit of the biome. It looks like it's full of water, so I don't think we could do much. And then, we might check out the, uh, rail here. Uh, obviously, I am... Oh, wait. Oh, that's a detonator. Oh, okay. Um, I am just gonna speed all this stuff up or do cuts or whatnot. Uh, that way, um... Uh... You guys don't have to, you know, watch it. So, yeah. Um, but before we do continue, uh, I do want to try something new. Um, so, I, I just... I, of curiosity, checked my, uh, analytics for my channel. And I've noticed that... 98.1 of you, uh, 98.1% of you guys aren't actually subscribed to my channel. Uh, so if you guys really do enjoy my, uh, videos, uh, it would be extremely appreciated if you guys would just, uh, subscribe. It may mean, it, it may not mean much to you guys, but it is life-changing to me, honestly. Just seeing that that many people actually enjoy my content. Uh, but anyway, once again, I'm just going to quickly uh, come over here and I'll be right back. Alright, so we are coming up on the first life crystal here. Alright, so let's get that eaten up. Boop. Nice. Alright, so let's head back to uh, the base. Alright, so yep, I did that the cheaty way. Uh, so, uh, two other things I uh, need to quickly talk about while we're here. Uh, so, first of all... Um, I think I put them up here. Yeah, I killed quite a few, uh, contracted monsters, so we can do that now. Um, let's quickly empty the inventory while we're here. There we go. Um, so I did a bunch of them, and I did actually unlock a new one. I think you're the tracker. Yeah, spend medals. I unlocked the Rosy Slime Staff. Uh, I finally found a, uh, pinky just randomly roaming the world. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, let's see, 13 summon damage. 11 summon damage. Okay. 
Sure, why not? Sorry, Wolfram controller. Oh, look at that thing. Isn't it cute? Alright, so we got that now. Uh, let's put the controller into... Uh, tools, I guess. Good enough. Uh, and then another thing is... We have a bunch of thorium here. So, how do we make the anvil? I forget. So we need to make a thorium anvil. I don't know what it looks like, though. A thorium anvil. Okay. Why are there two? Oh, I need a normal anvil. And then I need a, uh... A bit of thorium. Um... I have enough metal to make another anvil just in case it's, uh... Yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if this uses up my, uh, anvil or not. So... Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is big. Alright. There we go. that there and now I should be able to make thorium bars nice okay so what all can I make thorium helmet so let's see that's five that's two seven four and five three okay so that would be better so that's 12, 8, 16, uh, how much is that? Let's see, 12 plus 8, that's 20, plus 16, that's 36, um, and pickaxe, that's a pickaxe and axe, so that's 60 of each, that'd be better than both of those, actually. Is there a melee weapon that's better? 16... No. Okay, so yeah, let's do it. And then let's uh, make the armor. There we go. Getting an upgrade. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, so what is the set bonus? Damage done increased by 10%. Plus we also have... 2, 4, 6%... Uh, increased uh, critical strike chance. So that's nice. Alright, so let's uh, throw that in there. And then armor. Throw those in there. Then I have a new pickaxe and axe. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. Oh, I do have some leftover thorium. There we go. And tools. Those can go away now. There we go. No, oh, it's annoying, though. Ugh! That is awful! That is awful! That might not be better, actually. Hold up. Okay, so let's test it on the pickaxe first. Okay, so it's basically as fast as the war axe. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it for now. Let's just uh, do that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to head down here. Uh, I'm actually going to break into here first so I can get that one. And then we'll head down for the rest. So I'll see you guys when we get down there. Alright, so we just made it into the other cavern that has a uh, life crystal right down there. Unfortunately, it is very dark right down here. There we go. Uh, so let's eat this one, because why not? Awesome, 280 health. I think we're uh, making decent headway. 
I mean, obviously, I'm sure there's veterans out there that would, uh, probably have, you know, 6,000 health by now. Because I think you can actually get up to, okay, maybe not 6,000, but I think you can get up into, like, the late hundreds, if not early thousands, in this mod pack. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, so our next stop is down here to get that one, then up here. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, so we are now down to the next one here, and there's also a statue down here. Might as well take that while I'm at it. I don't think there was anything else in here. Uh, there's that thing. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, the next one is basically just right up above, so I don't need to really cut for it. If I can get up here. Oh, there's a gilded lichen near. Uh, there was a gilded lichen nearby. Oh well. All right. So yeah, we never even bothered to check this thing out. Apparently, we got a keg. That's actually helpful because we need that for our crafting recipe later on. So let's get that. Oh, I see an anvil. It's a very. I see two anvils. Awesome. Hello, dude. Alright. Oh. Did we... We must have already looted that? I don't think I would have checked that off camera. Weird. Whatever. I suppose it doesn't matter too much. Thank you. Okay, and there's another life crystal down here. So let's get that. Uh, let's see, then we need to go through here, get that thing, come down here, and then come over here. Hello. Okay. Well, first things first, let's at least do this. Boom. Boom. Nice. And, uh, it's probably gonna take... Well, actually, no, the, the spider cave is just right here. That's not a problem. That is not a problem at all. Holy crap, there's a lot of thorium here. Can I mine thorium now? I would assume so. Yeah, I can mine thorium now. Sweet. Good to know. What else can I mine with this uh, pickaxe? I don't know how much more I can mine. There's a boulder up there. Is this trapped? No, it doesn't look like it. Superior web gun. Where's that sticky globule of wet web? Do I need to have cobwebs in my inventory? That's odd. And a suspicious looking eye. That's kind of cool. Alright, so let's uh, take that. Now, 24. Yeah, so you do have to have cobweb in your inventory. It's not bad, though, because cobwebs are renewable. Very easily, actually. If you have a, um, uh, one of these. What's the one up there? It's a mushroom biome, isn't it? It is. We haven't found one of them yet. Awesome. That's gonna be nice. At the very least, so we can get some seeds, so we can spread it. Uh, but anyway, okay, yeah. So we're basically at the uh, the extent of what I've done off camera. So let's come up here then, because the next area is down here. Take that. Yeah, I basically stopped over here because I saw this whole building over here and the, uh, what looks like a new biome. Oh. I like that sound. You know, I'm not gonna take that, actually. Okay, those 
are not interactable. That's not interactable either. So it looks like that's the only thing here. But yeah, this is... Oh, there's another thing over there. Okay. This is definitely a, uh, a new biome. Problem is... I can't get in there without dying. Because, number one, it is full water. Interesting. It is full water, so we cannot breathe. Number two, this door down here is the only thing holding the water back. So unless we, like, open a hatch down here for us to go down, there's no way we can get down there and get back safely. So we are not going to do that. But, I am noticing this... I'm wondering if this is the same minecart track. Um, I can't see anything. Life quartz. Yeah, this is gonna be. Yep, this is the same minecart track. Okay. Well, that's a little uh, depressing. I was kind of hoping for something more exciting. Really? That's it? life ports, but nothing else. Well, dang. Alright. Well, if that's the case, then we are going to, uh, go back. And, obviously, I am going to do it the cheaty way, because why not? Because I do have two other plans for this episode. Uh, so first of all, let me do that. Um... I guess I'll put these in miscellaneous for now. I don't really know what to do with them, honestly. Anyway, uh, tools, 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 dang it, tools, tools. Um, I will take some bombs, because I do have plans. Um, blocks, blocks too, yes. Blocks too, block, 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 that's not block, I'm an idiot. That is an armor piece. We have a potion here. Okay. There we go. So, for the rest of this episode, I want to try and fight bosses. I am going to go over to the uh, Crimson and try and fight the Perforator Hive again. Uh, we fought it once before, but failed. But we did actually seem to uh, do pretty well against it. And now we have a lot better uh, everything. We have a better summon, we have better armor, we have better weapons, all that kind of stuff. So I think we have a much better chance at fighting it. And then if we can uh, manage to do that, I did want to try and uh, summon the uh, Brain of Cthulhu as well. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to really do that because I don't have any kind of uh, um, arena set up for that yet though. So that might have to hold off until next episode. Uh, I do want to try and get, like, a boss rush type thing going on here, where we can fight a bunch of bosses all in quick succession. Because uh, I feel like we are starting to advance a bit more in our journey here. There we go. I love the wings on that slime. It's so adorable. Yeah, I think I found the pinky right around here, or something like that. Okay, so the perforator assist is up there. Do I want to fight it here? I mean, where else am I going to fight it? Alright, so... I think I am going to have to just sit here and just wail on it. That's not bad. Um, yeah, this is still better. There it is. Watch out for those Icor uh, bullet things that it shoots out. Yeah, I can't get close enough to this thing to uh, launch the. Uh, uh, to use the sword on it, rather. Can its Icor bullets come through the. Okay, no. No, it cannot come through the ground. So this is like the perfect spot to attack it right now. Up until that point. Okay. 
it's probably gonna summon another one or two, if I had to guess, though. I doubt I just got off that easily. It's probably gonna have another uh, phase or two, if I had to guess. My, uh, uh, slime buddy is doing the work, though. Oh, there's a... Oh my god, what the frick are you now? You're an even worse, even more horrifying perforator. Okay, you're kind of like the destroyer of, uh, worlds, aren't you? Or eater of worlds, rather. I guess only in the fact that you're a worm. Do I have any healing things? I don't. Dang it. I don't have any, uh... Here, let me get a campfire set down. Also, can I mine this? No, I cannot. Okay. I'm gonna try this quick. That didn't work at all. Ow. Okay. So my slimy boy is doing some work. Oh god, you are so much worse now. Dang it! Oh, that thing is horrible! Okay, so I need to bring some healing potions over. But I think we can do it. Wait. Oh, it's a blood moon? Did that just randomly happen? Or did I cause that by summoning the perforator? I'm very confused. Anyway. Uh, Crimtain bar, blood sample, blighted gel. Okay, yeah, so this stuff can all just go in the drop sun. Um... Getting something though. Right, I wanted to look for my, uh. What do you call it? Oh my god, you're stuck. I wanted to get some healing potions so we could try that again. How high do they stack? I thought they normally went to, uh. I thought they normally went to, uh, 30. That's weird. Anyway, what other potions do we have here? Life regeneration. I'll take it. Swiftness. I'll take. Sure, why not? Iron skin. Um. Yeah, why not? We'll just go all out. Why not? Uh, let's see. Inferno. Uh, we don't really need that. Let's take one of them since we have it. Okay, so we have quite a bit of uh, potions, we have decent weapons and stuff, I think we have a pretty good chance. So let's go back over there and fight, uh, do we want to fight it there or do we want to come over here? Actually yeah, yeah, I definitely want to fight it in that first zone because of the uh, uh, the water below us. That gives us a little bit of leeway with the, uh, digger dude. The perforator, I think his name is. Okay. I want to try one more time at beating this thing. If we can't beat it, then so be it. Okay. I don't know where everything is, so I'm just doing this. Eh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we're gonna have to like sit over here for a hot minute so we can heal up with the uh, campfire then. Isn't there something else that can heal you faster? Like the, um, don't uh, sunflowers give you a bit of a healing aura or something? I might be wrong. Also, I just realized our cat's gone. That sucks. 
Isn't there a hotkey to uh, summon your cat? Or pet, rather? Uh, let's see. I suppose that is considered a, uh, a buff, so it'll just automatically spawn. So there's a perforator cyst down there. I don't know if I want to activate it here, though. I mean, I don't really have any other choice. Get me now. Spider Fangarang. What the frick? Interesting. Ow. Alright, um, my little buddy keeps getting stuck down here. If I can fix that. Uh, not great. Maybe if I had three, I'd be able to do better, but for right now, this is the better option. now. I'm also getting a lot of crimtain from doing this. I normally wouldn't be able to, so that's helpful. I really like this boss zen effect. Come on. Okay, soon the uh, level 2 perforator. There he is. I need to actually stop doing damage so I can heal up a little bit here. Stop it! Right. Oh boy. Okay, so we have 30 seconds before I can heal up. Uh, by then, we're probably gonna just have, you know, normal health, so that's fine. Okay, I feel comfortable enough to attack again. Slimy boy's not doing any work. Here he is again. Oh god. Oh my god. I can't move. I can't move. I got him! Okay. I doubt he's gonna summon another one. I could be sorely mistaken though. Booyah! Ground is glittering with cyan light. What the heck does that mean? Vein burster? Oh, that is filthy! But cyan light, what is that supposed to mean? I'm 
perforator cysts do still spawn, it seems. Whoa, wait, what the heck? How did I not pick that up? The perforators and their hive. An abomination of commingled flesh, bone, and organ, infested primarily by blood slurping worms. Favorite this item for all your projectiles to inflict ichor when in the crimson. However, enemy spawn rates will be greatly increased while in the crimson due to your body excreting a sweet smelling pus. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, but what is that, uh. that, uh. thing? The ground is glittering with cyan light. We're gonna have to figure that out. Question is, do I want to Google it? Or do I... Well, not Google it, but, you know, look it up on the wiki. Or do I want to wait to find out? What the frick? Something is falling from the sky. Mystery meteorite? Its external shell is insanely durable. You probably need to find someone who may help you break it. What? All kinds of weird things are happening now. Okay, so... There's some kind of cyan light. Perforator cysts are still spawning. So, I can just kill that boss over and over at this point. I am so intrigued. Okay, so we're just gonna cheat back to the spawn again. Glittering cyan light. What the heck could that mean? Paper tube. Oh, wait, what? Found a new accessory blueprint. You can ask Tinkerer about making it now. Okay, who's the Tinkerer? Do we have a Tinkerer? How's it? Um. Oh yeah, Alexander the Tinkerer. Okay. So apparently this guy can make me more stuff. <gasps> Climbing gloves. Okay. Shark tooth necklace. Okay, interesting. So the more uh, blueprints you get, the more stuff he can make for you. Okay, mystery meteorite. The frick is that? I don't know which one of these I want more. I think I'll still go with this one, honestly. This one does one more damage overall. Or, this one does one more damage overall. But this one has 20% critical strike chance. And it inflicts, um, uh, spiders... Infects enemies on first hit, and then it releases spiders on the second. This one just simply fires that blood ball. So, it's not great. It is a little bit faster and has a little bit better knockback, but that's about it. Put that in there, and put that in the bosses. Um, no, I'm not gonna put that in the bosses. That'll be in the tools. I suppose we'll put this in the tools for now, too. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going a little over on time for this episode, though. Oh, wait, what the frick? What do you want? Bloody worm food. That's disgusting. Summons a never forgotten friend. I need to get that. What is it? Do I have one? I feel like I already got one, didn't I? If I did get one, it would be in my pets. Yeah, I don't have it. Okay. Weird. Also... I just threw all that away. Except for the silver. I hate that. Wow. That's dumb. Okay. I will make an exception this one time. I will cheat in the money that I had. I'll rewatch the video, and I'll cheat in the exact money that I had, minus the silver, because I still have that. That was dumb. 
Okay. I'll put that in there. Um, but anyway, so... We're going way over on time for this episode, so I'm going to have to end it here. If you guys did enjoy this one, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day then. Goodbye.